Holy shit, where am I? Oh my god, what's even going on? Oh, this is what happens when you log out in the middle of space. You just keep going. Oh no. So lost. Well, well, there's our destination. Anyway, welcome back to Kiwi's Eve Mining Guide for kids who can't mine good and want to learn how to do other stuff good too. Part 3. We're currently in the Arnon system. Kind of picked this up in the middle of nowhere. Let's find something nearby that's uh, worthwhile. Plagiaclase. I like that. I like that. Oh, we don't care about the history of it. It's just a mineral. Forget it. Anyway, uh, what I've been working on since we've been away is upping my skills mostly, and I've moved to a lower security system up here, as you can see, 0.6. Uh, because you find a more diverse type of ores, you can find uh, some of this amber. Amber is always good. And really the difference of these is that when you refine them, they break down into different uh, different materials like uh, isogen and mexalon, I think, and a few other things, uh, tritanium, pyrite, that you need for building ships, which isn't really too valuable unless you want to do that, which I do, so... I've been refining my shit, but you probably, I mean, it's not really important if you do or not. I actually heard it explained best by somebody in the corporate chat here. They said, uh, you know, you can either sell it as is, your raw ore, or you can refine it. I mean, it's pretty much a wash either way, even if your refining skills are level 5. You know, unless you really play the market, which has you jumping all over the place. And time is money. Time is money. You spend too much time jumping around to get the best deal. Are you really getting the best deal? Huh? Think about that. I probably blew, like, one person's mind out there who's never thought about economics before. And they're like, whoa, that was crazy. Uh, anyway, as I'm getting closer to the asteroid belt, there's a fellow miner in the region. And you can see he's using hobgoblin drones, which is also what I should be using. But I think because I logged off in the middle of space, I lost my, uh... Oh, no. Wait. Which one? Wait, are, are some of these mine? I don't know. There's a way to check. Uh, if you lose your mining droids or other kind of droids, you can, uh, or not droids, I keep calling them droids, they're drones, for fuck's sake. Reconnect to lost drones. Oh no, unable to locate. I, I don't know. It, it, you know what, they're really cheap, it doesn't matter, but try not to lose your drones like an idiot like I did. I think I fell asleep when it was going into downtime, and uh, that's what happened, so don't let that happen to you. But that's all right. We'll just go grab them. And on the way, I can tell you a little something important that I learned along the way, which is that one of the first skills you should have leveled up all the way to five, which I'm currently doing because I was a slowpoke and didn't do it, astrogeology. Get that up to five. You know why? Because you're mining. And each level of this skill gives you a 5% bonus to mining to yield. So, yeah, if you want a 5% bonus... Five times over, you should probably get on that astrogeology shit, because you're going to need it for every other advanced mining vehicle that I've seen. Uh, industrial trade ships and all kinds of buggery like that. I messed around with combat for a bit, so, you know, I got some gunnery skills in there. Too many. Goddamn, forget them. Okay, uh, closing this for now. Here we are at the big space, uh, space jam. Welcome to the space jam. Yeah. If you don't like that movie, then I completely understand. <laughs> I don't know why I like it. Never mind. Completely pointless. Uh, anyway, let's look uh, in our inventory here. I know I got some spare drones hanging around. I got some blueprints, leftover stuff from refining, and the results of my refining. A lot of isogen, like 14 mil worth of that. Some skill books. Where are my spare drones? Hmm. I really don't have any, really. Just some of these uh, random things in my in my container here, which uh, were provided by a salvage drone, and from pecking at the scraps of dead pirate rats that show up in the asteroid belts while you're trying to mine. And that's why you should move down to a lower security system, not only to get at the Omber and other things like that, but also because the occasional drop from a uh, pirate might be worth a lot. Uh, for example, I was actually attacked. It, it, it wasn't even here. It wasn't even in Arnon. It wasn't. Uh, it was up in like point 
ape security. I can't remember the name of the system. I was just in there mining for a little bit, and uh, one of the one of the wrecks dropped something that was worth like two hundred million isk. And the other guy who was mining in there with me decided, well, I guess I'm going to fucking attack this guy. And he didn't realize that the space police would arrive at Concord. And they blew him out of the sky. I don't know what he was thinking. I guess he thought he could get to me in time. But it was not to be. And uh, how much do I have right now? Almost 300 million, 283. Yeah, I spent a lot on these blueprints. Fucking stupid of me because I can't get any money out of them just yet. But whatever, let's buy some drones. Now see, salvage drones, well, you're going to need to train to get these. You definitely want at least one of these. You really only need one, just to kind of run in the background. Salvage drone operation, that speaks for itself. Drones 4, salvaging 2, mechanics 3, survey 3, electronics 1. Yeah, you know, it's not that hard to get these guys. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these. Just, you know, just one. Wait, no, I want to look at the details, make sure I'm actually buying the one that's in the station. I don't want to have to jump all over the place. Who's cheapest? This guy. I'll buy one of those. And then, uh, let's see. We need not combat utility drones. That's silliness. We need light scout drones. You just want some hobgoblin ones, because you really don't need anything better than that unless you're doing, you know, going into, into the more dangerous parts of space, or you're uh, doing some PvP. Otherwise, you really don't. Really don't need anything better than these guys, and they're cheap. They're super cheap. You don't need to train much to get them, and they work fantastically. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, I'm gonna buy four of them because I can only deploy five at once. So there's no reason to buy too many, unless I want to stock up on drones, which I don't right now. Where are you? Put those right in my drone bay. Oh, we're almost full up on this. We can deposit this soon. And then we'll, uh... Well, it's gonna be glowing until we click on it, so... Yeah. And also, something you need to be aware of is to make sure that you check on your uh, skill points and your clone level. Make sure that your clone grade is always above however many skill points you have, because if you get popped in your pod without an upgraded clone, you're gonna lose skills, and that's not good. That's, that's gonna ruin your day, and it's gonna undo months of work so have fun with that. Anyway, let's undock out of here. That's a cat. Hey, space cat. You're not the star of the video, goddammit. Hey, there's one of those old dongle ships I used to have. Man, this place is busy, look at that. Oh man, it's like the opening of uh, Star Wars or something. Except... I don't know. Nope. Nope, it's not. It's more like a bunch of people at a public pool. That's more what this reminds me of. Enough of that. Let's get to an asteroid belt. Now, see, what I love about Arnon is that it has a metric fuck-ton of asteroid belts. I like to go to, uh, number six, because why not? There's no particular reason they, uh, kind of refresh every... What is it? Someone mentioned it in the main chat here. It's, uh... Mondays and another day when they refresh the belts and they're not as good in terms of variety or they're not as rich, something like that. Maybe they were just talking bullshit. I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out myself. 